Those forum is getting, uh, it's been organised by the Sydney anti Orcus Coalition and the Independent and Peaceful Australian Network. And if you're not already part of one of these organisations, this is the time to get involved. This meeting is about getting more people involved in the movement so we stop the next war before it starts. The meeting here today is a grotesque spectacle of Talisman Sabre kicks off. Not only is it um, more wasteful to spending on war games, it's designed to cement the anti AUKUS war pact, which in turn is designed to contain or provoke China. AUKUS is not about peace and deterrence. It's about shoring up US and Australian military might in the South Pacific and supporting weapons manufacturers' profit making. It's supposedly about deterrence. That is such a misused word, if ever there was one. Well, how do we stop AUKUS and a possible future war before it starts is the important subject we'll be discussing this afternoon. And to Fernandez in his brilliant book, we've become yet again a sub-imperial power willing to do whatever uh, uh, Big Brother America or an uh, elderly mother United Kingdom wants from us. So that's, those are the essential features of the, of, the, of Alcus and why it's so dangerous. This assumption that we, a, a, non, a previously non-nuclear power like Australia, will, uh, will forge alliance with two unreliable allies the United States and the United Kingdom. I say that because I take that cue from, from actually from the Conservative Prime Minister, former Conservative Prime Minister Martin Fraser, who in his last book about dangerous allies, said that uh, Australia only needed defending because it was defended by the United States. Like climate action, the focus is the latest to disaster, and it's a blatant disregard for what people actually want, and it's a result against all our issues I want to argue the connection between climate disaster and focus by referring to the Doomsday Clock. Uh, it's created by the world's ultimately to the scientists, and the clock illustrates just how close the community has come to the the end of the world. The Australian, UK, and US agreement, AUKUS, has sent alarm bells through the Illawarra, and in particular the community of Port Kembla. Let's be clear about one thing there is no place for a nuclear base in Port Kembla. Be very surprised. <laughs> it also 
includes the Maritime Union, the AMWU, the ETU, the Construction Union, Unions New South Wales, and of course, the South Coast Labor Council, and many more. Branch by branch, anti-war activists are passing resolutions against authors. But we don't win every branch, we lose some votes as well. In his speech to the National Press Club, Keating said that the Labor has a proud tradition of opposing unjust wars. That's true, but as pointed out by Iran in an interview in 1996, those positions are not automatic. They have to be contested, fought and won. Within Labor, represented by Labor against war, is a rank and file movement of party members who are compelled to act. And in just three months, we're having an impact. We've got branch after branch passing motions. The Queensland State Conference post, uh, passed an anti nuclear uh, submarine motion and explicitly voted down a pro caucus motion. The Victorian Conference, just a couple of weeks ago, it referred an anti caucus motion to National Conference, where we turn our gaze to next. My concern is by all means, let's uphold our caucus, but we have to. The best form of opposition is to be able to express what the alternative is. And it, I mean, and your the questions about what sort of socially just uh, society is, a, a society that realises that the greatest threat to, uh, to life on the planet is the violence that comes from climate change. Uh, and, and the violence that comes around the world from a massive commitment by economic policies to inequality. So it's a piece of justice alternative that, to, that, um, that we have to think about. Much, much more beneficial, much more life-enhancing, and uh, much more inexpensive.